Hey everybody, it's Rebecca Wolf from Girls Not Child, and today on Conversation, we're talking about tech, specifically tech this holiday season. We're so inundated with like PlayStation type Wii books that talk to you. It's kind of crazy out there. So my question to you guys is, are you guys giving into tech this season? What's your feel on, on techie gadgets specifically for your kids? I see nothing wrong with giving tech as a gift. It's a tool in their lives. My daughter and my son, actually both of my kids really rely on their laptops for their schoolwork. And I can't imagine kind of branding that as a bad thing. Good point, Jessica. Uh, Mindy, how about you? Normally I would say too much tech at too young an age is, is not a good thing because I want them to interact with the world and, and with each other and with their friends. Having said that, um, I was determined to go very low tech this year, but uh, I've slowly come around to sort of a halfway mark, if you can call being extreme and extreme halfway. Um, all of our children are getting one low tech gift and one very high tech gift this year. All six children are getting bikes for this house. We wanna make sure that they have bikes here so they can get out in the neighborhood, go to the park, ride around, get some exercise, do something other than play video games and play with their tech. On the other hand, um, I'm considering giving, bear with me, iPhones to my boys and they are in fifth and seventh grade. Now Rebecca, I know that you've got younger children and far fewer children, so you're going to have a very different opinion about this. It's not that like I'm adamant against it, I just, I am a little petrified of, you know, the stories I've heard of friends, kids, or friends who like dropped out of college because they were trying to like master World of Warcraft or whatever, I'm a little, I'm just a little skeptical of games. My husband has an iPhone, um, and he has game apps on the phone, contrary to what I would probably want. Um, and I'm always like eyebrow raised every time he sits down or gives his phone to Archer because Archer knows how to use his phone. And now Fable, my two-year-old, knows how to use an iPhone. I don't even know how to use an iPhone. I can't, the touch screen, I can't even deal. I'm, my phone is like 10 years old. Rebecca, I totally get your concern, uh, but I think that there's a lot about tech that's great for kids. Treating the computer as a toy is really them practicing for their adulthood and their adult careers. And their fearlessness, I think, will help them um, moving forward. Now, that being said, we have a very open web. I mean, I wouldn't plunk a kid down you know, in the middle of the social web any more than I would drop a five-year-old off in the middle of Chicago without a map. So, you know, there's a lot of guidance involved. We set limits every day on how long a particular child can play a particular game. And with six children, even if we limit it to 30 minutes, that's kind of a lot of time. That's that six times we're setting the microwave for 30 minute limits. But they know that when they hear that ding, their time is up and that's it. So we feel that we can sort of get away with letting them have more high tech toys and more video games as long as there's some really strict rules around how long they can play, what games they can play, nothing violent, nothing above a certain rating. So I agree, there has to be guidance, there have to be limits. That's what we think. How about you guys? Are you guys giving into tech this holiday season? Are there going to be lots of iPods and Wii's and Xboxes under the tree? We'd love to hear from you. Join the Momversation at momversation.com.